Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your Vibe Mentor, here to bring you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. Let's talk today about emotions and whether or not they can be trusted. But before we do, I want to jump right in and let you know that the New Earth Construction Team community opens in three days. On 11-11, we are kicking this off. The New Earth Construction Team is getting started. We're doing this. It's so huge. I'm so excited. We've got people in the community already. While technically our first event will be at 11 a.m. Central Time on 11.11, you can click the link below and get in there today. See who's there, see the conversation, start to make recommendations. If you join before 11.11, you will be considered a founding member and you will never experience a price increase. It'll be an extremely affordable, permanent price for you. As well as being a founding member, you get to shape the community and you get to drive this. Now, the ultimate goal of this community is, and of course, that will shift and change as we learn more about what you need. But right now, the intention is, the guidance is that the New Earth, New Earth Construction Team, also known as the NEST, is for purpose-driven entrepreneurs who want to overcome the blocks that hold them back from stepping into their purpose so that you can manifest abundance and assist in bringing about heaven on earth. So if you've had that nagging feeling, I know I have a purpose. I know I'm supposed to do something big in the world. I know that I'm here to help heal, but I can't quite seem to override this um, this subconscious program that says I'm not enough, or I can't risk being seen, or I fear judgment, or I overgive, or I self-sacrifice, or I get overwhelmed, or I have depression or anxiety, the dark night of the soul, all of these things can be resolved. There is a process. It has worked for all of my clients, and I'm super excited to share this with the world at a very, very affordable monthly price. So definitely jump in, snag that, that extremely low price today, secure your spot, and assist in bringing about heaven on earth. All right, so let's talk about the EGS. The EGS is far more effective in navigating life than a GPS. And the EGS is your emotional guidance system. Now, of course, for the sake of conversation, we need to clarify terms here that an emotion is something that arises from the body stimulated by external stimuli, but it is not considered a feeling until it has gone to the brain and the brain has assigned a story to it. So when people say you can't trust your feelings, there is some degree of truth in that, that distorted thinking, the illusion, Maya, your traumas, your programming, your experiences, your past will influence the story that the mind assigns to the emotion that arises from the body. Now, an emotion is untainted. It is more authentic and it is guiding you towards what is right for you versus what is not. Now, if you have experienced trauma, if you felt unsafe, unseen, unheard, uncared for, or unloved for an extended period of time at any point in your life, then you're likely dealing with the symptoms of complex trauma, which will mean that your emotions will be exaggerated. You will have um, a more a more exaggerated response to, to external stimuli. Your nervous system will be hypersensitive. You will be very quick to fight, flight, fawn, or freeze. But in those cases, and as we bring awareness to that, we can start to ask ourselves a question, is that how a normal, is that how everyone would respond or am I having an exaggerated response? Either way, the emotion is there, the physical bodily response is there to guide you and to keep you safe. Even if it's exaggerated, it still needs to be respected and honored. And so emotions are no longer the enemy. Emotions are the seat of creation. Emotions are the source of creation. That as we emote, emotion, energy in motion is our frequency, it is our vibration, it creates how the body feels, it creates our attraction point and what we draw to us. Emotion is also um, designed to protect you, to keep you safe, to let you know this is not right. Or in a positive scenario, hey, this is really good for you. And I talk a lot about the body as being a tuning fork, that we should look to the body to say yes or no in a situation. When we're uncertain, we can try things on for size. We can ask ourselves to imagine the option A 
imagine that I have taken this job and I'm going back into the corporate world and I'm working for someone else and I have, you know, a steady, secure income and I know exactly how much I'm going to get every month and my kids have to go to daycare and this all sounds so awful. I don't even want to continue on. My body has said, no, <laughs> that sounds awful. And so then I try on the other option. I continue down this path. We build the new earth construction team. I continue to coach and support and help heal individuals every single day. We are creating the new earth. We pursue a master's degree and a PhD in psychology so that we can start schools and we start to educate kids on their value and worth and they understand who they are and they know spiritual truths from the beginning and then they are thriving. Then we have whole schools of thriving people. That says, yes, imagine Imagine how different the world would be if we knew how to use our EGS from the beginning. So it is time to make friends with our emotions. It is time to understand that not only are they our, our, one of our best friends, they are the key to finding the path that is right for you. That as you have those moments where people say, this is the logical thing to do. This is the thing you should do. They should all over you start to separate their voice from your own and start to ask yourself what feels right to me. And in those moments, as you're out and navigating in the world and you're having conversations with people or you're deciding what to have for lunch or you're deciding what shirt to wear, start to notice, how does that feel? Something doesn't quite feel right. We trust it. We know that that is there for us. The difference is between feeling and emotion is body versus mind. The body is highly intelligent. The mind is the source of maya, the source of illusion, the source of distorted thinking. Of course, a miracle says that a miracle is a shift in perception. That the only thing that keeps us from our wholeness, from our oneness, from our truth, from abundance, from in infinite support and supply is the belief that we don't have it. So start to value the body. It is the vessel. It is the mother that nurtures and holds your soul. It is the gift that you have been given so that we can experience life. It is your friend. And emotions are the language of the body. So trusting your emotions does not mean flying off the handle because you're upset. Trusting your emotions means listening and taking responsibility appropriately for processing them. We need to sit with the emotion. We need to feel it. We need to know that the initial moment of that feeling is not all there is. And we certainly cannot distract or run away from it because that it will just put it on the shelf for later. It'll, it'll stay in there and it will not go away. It will fester and it will percolate and it will marinate and it will rot and it will become far greater a problem than it was originally. So sit with it and feel it knowing that it will not last for very long, that it will shift and change as you sit with it and observe it and feel it and it will dissipate and it will process and it will share a message with you and it will help you understand what needs to happen next. Our responsibility is not to just throw, fly off the handle, but it is our responsibility to be with the emotion, to sit with it, to understand what it is communicating, and then decide how to address the need that it is bringing to your attention. Remembering that the only positive, sustainable, right or just thing to do with an emotion is to address it kindly, lovingly, and with respect. No idea where that red light just came from. <laughs> there is not a red light in this house. Maybe that's the sunshine, I guess. <laughs> that is interesting. So just remember, emotions are your friend. They want to protect you and help you and guide you. They are your compass. They are here to help you navigate life. In every moment that something doesn't feel right, be willing to take three seconds to sit with it and say, what's not feeling right? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because oftentimes, you know, a whole scenario will make you feel uncomfortable, but there's one aspect in it that needs to shift. It's not the whole scenario. They're a powerful instrument of creation. 
the more often we listen to the positive emotion that is guiding us towards our purpose, guiding us towards the right path, guiding us through the divine. The divine is in the body, right? We are one with God. God is in the body. And so the emotion in the body is communication. It is helping us hear and listen and receive our guidance. <laughs> so embrace the source of creation that is emotion in your body. And know that there is nothing wrong with you. The body is not broken. We were designed perfectly as we are. You are perfectly imperfect for your purpose, which means every aspect of you is made with intention. There is nothing bad, wrong, or broken that deserves to be uh, uh, rejected. In fact, when you fracture off like that, then when we have the, the task of healing and recalling all of the parts of ourselves. But the truth is, you are already whole and complete because you are one with the divine. You are a fractal of the divine. You're an expression of the divine. You are no more separate from the divine than my finger is from my body. So stepping into wholeness, stepping into completion, stepping into healing, stepping into abundance is really just an, a removal of the illusion, a removal of the thoughts. There is not more for us to do. There is less for us to do. Remembering who we truly are means letting go of the beliefs, letting go of the ego that cause us to feel separate, that cause us to feel like we're not enough, that cause us to feel like we have to earn ascension. There's no effort required. Free will is the ability to choose to believe I am already whole. I am already complete. I am already enough. And there is nothing that I need to do to prove that. The opposite of that is the free will to cling to the belief that I have to earn it. I have to achieve it. Free will is the choice between separation and oneness. It's up to you. And if you struggle with any of this, I understand there was a process that brought me to this place. And that's why I am absolutely honored. It is a privilege to be able to support the new earth construction team. And like a, a mother bird, keep my wings around this beautiful nest to nurture and support you in this process. So I would love to see you there. Link below. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. And I love you so, so dearly. The best is yet to come. Things are about to get really good. I promise. Take care, my friends. Namaste.